So we were recently having a discussion about infrasternal angles here in the purple room, and the Padawan actually came up with this, this great analogy, and I've actually heard this analogy before. Um, you can read about it in uh, Visceral and Obstetric Osteopathy by Carolyn Stone, and it's looking at the relationship between the diaphragm and the lower rib cage in regards to making a comparison to an umbrella. And so I have an umbrella and I have an infrasternal angle, as you can see, measured right there. So, so this is gonna be the lower rib cage and this is where the, the uh, false ribs come up and meet the sternum as representation. So if we consider the, the normal physiological activity of the diaphragm, as the diaphragm descends because of its attachment on the lower rib cage, the ribs are going to swing out in a bucket handle action. So, so I'm going to simulate it dropping down. So this is the diaphragm going down and lifting up, and therefore you see this wide infrasternal angle. So that is a bucket handle up position as we would normally have on the breath in. And then as we breathe out, the bucket handle goes back down. Now, if I am hyperinflated, where I have a descended diaphragm, and, and that would result in a wide infrasternal angle presentation. So this might be a compensatory strategy that our patients may be using that limits their respiratory excursion and therefore limits mobility. Now, if I have a scenario where the diaphragm can continue to descend, so as the diaphragm goes down, it would normal bucket handle our, our ribs up, give us this wide infrasternal angle. But there are scenarios, so for instance, in the pelvis, if the pelvis is in a uh, position to receive pressure, the diaphragm will continue to descend as it pushes the guts down. And so if I can continue to push the guts down, what happens is the diaphragm picks up leverage to pull in on itself, and now I have a narrow infrasternal angle. So that's how you get a narrow one. And so depending on the presentation of this compensatory breathing strategy, this will help me determine what my interventions will be to restore this full respiratory excursion of the up and the down pump handle action of the rib cage so that I can get a normal respiratory excursion.